neither a beginner nor an expert starting your journey as an orthopedic resident can be both exciting and daunting especially when it comes to figuring out which books to read and how to approach your residency in a way that allows you to learn as much as possible in this video myself dr jigar gajjar will provide a comprehensive guide to help you navigate through your residency and make the most of your learning experience which books to read with the abundance of books available in today's era choosing the right ones to read can be overwhelming i will suggest a few must read books that you should not miss no matter what the source so starting with the first year during the first year it is essential to lay a strong foundation in orthopedics and the following books will help you achieve that so the first book that we are talking about is apple system of orthopedics and fracture this book provides you a basic knowledge about orthopedics and you should finish it within one month of your residency to get exposed to the basics of orthopedics very quickly second book that we are going to talk about is the close treatment of common fractures by sir john charli so if you know something about sir john charli sir john charli is considered the father of arthroplasty the joint replacement and on another hand he explained the close treatment of common fractures so this book is essential for learning the different reduction techniques for common fracture and the lost art of giving a plaster cast to the patient in the era of surgical enthusiasm then traction and orthopedic appliances by stewart so although this is an old book you should read it to get ideas about traction application and different orthopedic appliances then handbook of fractures by zuckerman and covell so this is the best book to have in your pocket the whole time during your first year you will orient yourself about different fractures classify each and every fracture that you see clinically assess the fracture learn what to do and more importantly what not to do for this injury also you will get a brief idea about what all the treatments that are possible for this case then bedside clinics in orthopedics by upendra kumar so this is a book must for your practical exam but also for the first year this book will guide you for different instruments that are used in ward and operation theaters also the implant that are used in surgeries and many more also if we are talking about orthopedics then clinical examination book by macre so this book will give you ideas about the clinical examination in orthopedics you should try and master the art of clinical examination again and again so it becomes like a reflex to you in first year these are all the books that you should know and you should read and you should complete it within the first year itself so now moving about second year so during the second year surgical exposures by hopenfield so this book will orient you to the different orthopedic approaches for different orthopedic surgeries so suppose you have a operation on distal radius per se read all the different approaches you should do it for all the surgeries and in no time you are an expert in all the approaches because different fracture patterns warrants different approach your center might follow the standard posterior approach for the hip replacement while your new mentor might prefer a lateral approach for the same so you should be aware of each and every approach and their advantages and disadvantages then talking forward rockwood and green the fractures in adults also the fractures in children so this book covers all the aspects there are to know about any fracture and this is rather the textbook for trauma in orthopedics then we will go to campbells okay so this book has total four volume we will finish volume 1 and 3 in second year so this is the most widely quoted and referenced book in orthopedics this is also known as the bhagavad gita of orthopedics okay so volume 1 and 3 in second year then this is my personal favorite book 
द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फिक्सेशन बाय सर ए जे ठाकुर सो दिस बुक टॉक्स अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फिक्सेशन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द फ्रैक्चर पैटर्न वाई वी हैव टू फिक्स दिस एंड हाउ वी हैव टू फिक्स दिस इन द फिक्सेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्चर्स द ऑपरेटिंग ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन बिकम्स अ स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर एज ही क्रिएट्स अ न्यू स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम द रैकेज ऑफ द ओल्ड बोन स्क्रूज प्लेट्स नेल वायर्स एंड द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फिक्सेशन सिस्टम आर द बेजिक एलिमेंट्स विच हेल्प एन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन टू रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट द फ्रैक्चर्ड बोन सो इट इज इम्पेरेटिव फॉर अस टू नो ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फिक्सेशन देर फिजिक्स बायोमेकेनिक्स एंड वॉट एवर देर इज टू नो टू गेट अ ग्रेट फिक्स फ्रैक्चर फिक्सेशन सो इन समरी इन सेकेंड इयर सर्जिकल एक्सपोजर्स बाय हॉपन फील्ड रॉकवुड फ्रैक्चर इन अडल्ट फ्रैक्चर इन चिल्ड्रन कैम्पेल वॉल्यूम वन एंड थ्री एंड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फिक्सेशन बाय सर एजे ठाकुर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन थर्ड इयर सो दिस बुक इज स्पेशली फॉर द पीडियाट्रिक ऑर्थोपेडिक्स एंड ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट रेफरेंस बुक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परस्यू पीडियाट्रिक ऑर्थोपेडिक एज योर फ्यूचर देन ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस ऑफ स्केलेटल सिस्टम बाय अवर ओन सर तुली so i had the great pleasure to see and meet sir tuli and it changed my life the wise man of orthopedics who took us on to the journey of the orthopedic and even in this age the hunger of knowledge and urge to learn skill to teach that was mesmerizing apart from fanboying sir as we are still facing the tuberculosis routine in our practice this is a excellent book for you to get all the details about tb in musculoskeletal system then rothman spine so this is a book for your spine preparation then macnab's back ache so whether it's a 70 year woman or a 40 year male the most common problem they come to in uh, they come to ortho opd is back pain so this is a must book for you so you can diagnose and treat all the different kinds of back ache also we will finish the remaining volume 2 and volume 4 of campbell and also revise volume 1 and 3 then turex orthopedics this is a book for cold orthopedic and theory examination to summarize in third year tegian's pediatric orthopedics tb by sir tuli rothman spine macnab's back ache and campbell volume 2 and 4 and also the turex so these are all the books that you need for your theory examination also some books that are necessary for your clinical and practical purposes a manual on clinical surgery by s das this is a good old book for our day to day examination then clinical orthopedic diagnosis by sureshwar pande this book provides a detailed clinical examination covering all the aspects and last a practical orthopedic examination made easy by manish kumar varshne so this book is a must read for practical examination with different case examples and related theory viva so for clinical and practical purposes a manual on clinical surgery by s das clinical diagnosis sureshwar pande and practical made easy by manish kumar varshne so in addition to these books here are some cheats to fast track your residency first is eo surgery reference so this is an eo website as well as mobile application for you to quickly understand the fracture pattern eo classification fixation option different approaches and position and some surgical fixation methods and pulse then ortho bullets this website provides you with the notes of different orthopedic topics then ortho tv this indian youtube channel provides free videos regarding the different aspects medscape so there is a website as well as mobile application for you to quickly analyze any drug any dose or any medical knowledge that you require for some basic procedures journals and online materials that are also important for your recent advantages question conceptual orthopedic apps although it is a paid option but if you can afford it then it is good to have and lastly there are some tips to get the most from your residency so it can be challenging to make the most of your residency but i will offer the following tips to help you do so 
try not just to do work but understand the basic of everything starting from the compression bandaging to giving an injection and dressing focus on why rather than how our main problem is whenever we see patient we rush to ot and compete for scrubbing our hand each for taking a knife in our hand but we need to really understand any procedure before executing it learning why we put this implant in this fracture why we put this screw in this fashion and all that learn from everybody whoever can teach you is your mentor learn from everyone try to analyze each and every patient that you see suppose a patient with an old proximal humerus fracture comes to you with a pain in knee also ask the patient to permit you to examine them completely for your and patient's benefit connect with your patient so this is probably most lacking in today's generation maybe due to setup or overburden of work or some any other reason we are not talking to our patient satisfactorily so this is crucial for building rapport with our patient don't afraid to ask no question can be stupid yes answer could be so don't afraid to ask always ask for help as and when needed if some topics are not cleared in your mind you or you have some different approach for a particular case share it with your seniors or your professors so by following these tips and reading the suggested book you will be well on your way to maximize your residency and becoming a knowledgeable and skilled orthopedic surgeon so thank you so much and also like share and subscribe to this channel goodbye and we will meet in a next video